Hey, hello everyone. Thanks for clicking on this video. You won't regret it. I'm sure you won't regret it. So what is this video? It is a bike check video for the owner, that's me, I may even show you my face at some point, of TotalBMX.com. Look at all this gorgeousness I've got in here. Christ, it's too much for me. Um, so here it is, here's my bike. Do you think it looks good? I kind of, I'll tell you what, it looks good from a distance. When we get closer in, you're gonna see actually it's in a bit of a tired condition and probably needs a bit of TLC, a bit of a spit and polish and maybe a couple of new parts. But it works and uh, I love it. And uh, the paint, you see it's quite a nice color, isn't it? That paint is actually Indian gray, which is the Volkswagen color. And it matches my um, transport van. A big shout out to Carl Ruckley, uh, Ruckers of Nice Touch Paint Finishing. He's the guy who painted this uh, frame for me to match me a uh, car and the handlebars as well. I did have forks, but one of the team riders took them out of the store. I don't know why they did that, but uh, they ran off with them. So now I've got black ones. But anyway, you'll see in a minute why I've got black ones. So actually maybe I need to get back onto Carl about some paint. Um, but maybe I just need to build a whole new bike, probably. Um, but in the, in the short term, we'll have a look at this one, shall we? So coming in closer. It becomes apparent that there's a strange thing on the front of this bike. It's called a brake, a front brake. And it's a Salt Plus one, I think. So nice and cheap, just how I like my brakes. Um, I swear by cheap brakes. There's, no, there's nothing wrong with them. At the end of the day, if you've got good blocks um, and you've got decent cables and you've oiled them and you've set the brake up good, even cheap brake calipers are fine. So don't worry about whether it's got to be CNC machined or whatever. Um, even like Diacom Hombres and all those things are fine. In fact, on the back, I've got a firmer brake and that's a really cheap brake, but it's absolutely fine. It works, it, uh, it stops me. I mean, if I trust these brakes on the front um, to do like Canadian nose picks and stuff on ramps, you know they're safe, because I'm pretty heavy too. I'm, I'm kind of a big deal. I'm over six feet tall. Um, which actually, interestingly, brings me to the frame here. Because you're probably thinking, what frame is this? Well, this is a Kaya frame. And we made these frames back in about, I think it's about 2012-ish. And it was for a rider who's no longer riding for the brand. It was a good friend of Mark Webb's, uh, and myself actually, uh, Kyle Blake. He was an absolute style monger. Um, and this was his frame. So the back end's quite long on it. It's like 13.75. It's a nine inch standover, uh, 75 head angle, but it really suits me being tall. And because uh, I ride a lot of vert, mostly I was into vert, vert mini route really. But it suits me because I'm very tall. Anyway, moving on with the bike check. I've got myself TWS handlebars here, custom painted, Indian gray, as we talked about. I've got Odyssey levers. Don't ask me what version they are. They're just Odyssey levers. I pull them and the bike stops. It's, it's actually quite amazing. Coming down, I've got the Total BMX Team Stem, top loader. I don't know if you can see that well, whether that's went blurry or not. Um, I've got a corroded Killaby headset cap there. I've got a Total BMX Uplift gyro plate, and I've got the Chaos gyro itself there because when you've got one of these bad boys on your bike, you can cause absolute chaos. Without it, you're boring. Dropping down, as I said, I've got Salt Plus front brake. I've got Total BMX Skinny's pegs, TWS fork, and of course, because I've got this strange aim on the front, these are one-off forks with brake lugs welded on. Um, I made them for myself. Is that selfish? Well. I own my own BMX company, so if I want a custom product like that, I'm getting it. Killer B tire, 2.1, high pressure, super fast tire. And the front wheel is one of our stock tech complete wheels. You can get these in various uh, different combinations of spokes and rim colors uh, and hub actually. So you can get like all silver. We do one now with chrome. Um, chrome rim, silver hub, and rainbow spokes. And of course, this one's just rainbow spokes and black hub, black rim. But yeah, have a look. There's a bunch of different versions. They're really good wheels. Um, 
a decent price and the spokes are double button as well so you know it's about as light as you're going to get a stock wheel right i think that covers the front of the bike moving on i've got the uh, traditional embroidered total bmx seat there we don't make those anymore someone asked me if, they, if i could make them again because they they wanted one but we kind of moved on from that but you know i will always go back um dropping down i've got hangover cranks these are bad boy cranks. Uh, Mark Webb even rates these, and he's like the fussiest dude ever when it comes to cranks. <laughs> it took me years to actually come up with a crank that he'd ride. Um, we had the like the Hangover, like the first version, he wouldn't ride them. But these bad boys, he put a set on and he literally raves about them. And he'll tell anyone who are listening that these are the best cranks in BMX. They also come in like four different lengths from a really super short 160 up to like a regular 175. Um, I think mine are 170s, I believe. Uh, we got the team bottom bracket on there. So that's all good. And I've done a bit of a, a ghetto job on the frame here to run the dual cables through. Um, I don't recommend you doing that. The best thing you can do is just buy one of these modern totals that comes with it built in. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Actually, one, one thing I haven't pointed out so far is the lower cables. Because these, if that will focus, are actually uh, our own cables, the Total BMX cables. And I'm kind of proud of them. It was quite a surreal moment today. I've got cables that had the name of my BMX brand on them. So we sell them in a kit and they come with all the stuff to like set up a dual lower cable setup. It's a really good deal, actually, because you get everything in there. Um, pedals. These pedals were just some kind of like samples uh, that got sent. Uh, someone trying to interest me in, in these pedals and uh, I'm running them, but we've never kind of taken it any further. I really like them. They're really like slim, but they're quite similar to some other pedals you see about. So I haven't really done anything with that. Or well, you're really picking up that hangover logo on the crank arm there. Do you know what? I'm getting out of breath. There's so much to talk about. <laughs> So bear with me, if I start breathing heavy, this is essentially like my day's cardio. Ugh. Now you will notice I'm not running a Killer B tire on the back, I'm running a KG Mac. And the reason for that is, is I like a really skinny tire on the rear. And um, these things, like this is like the 1.5 obviously, they are super skinny. I think it's probably like a 1.8, something like that. Now I can't make a 1.8 tire because there just isn't a huge market for it, I don't believe. So because of that, I'm having to run a KG tire in the back, which is kind of disappointing for me um, because I prefer to run the Killer Beast tires, obviously, run on my own stuff, but there you are. I mean, to be honest, this tire is starting to perish a bit. You see that, it's starting to kind of die a little. I'll have to keep an eye on that one. Not so bad getting a blowout on the back, I guess. If that was on the front, I'll be getting that straight off. Uh, got some insane combination going on in this back. A purple hub, rainbow spokes, um, and a random rim. So this isn't one of our stock wheels. This is some kind of like, I don't know what it is. Got a runaway rim, total BMX rainbow spokes, and a total hub and purple. It's like just some ghetto wheel I've built out of whatever I've found in my stalls, I guess. But it goes around and it works. And look at that, old school V1 skinny peg on the back. No way. So as you can see, even though I own my own bike company, my bike is a little bit ratty but do you know what it works like a dream so i don't really care um i don't want to be that guy who's got the shiniest bike in the skate park i just want a bike that works and does what i want it to do and this does that even if it doesn't look perfect i'm just turning that around now just to make this video even more ridiculous and look at that i've got a victory sprocket on there and it's absolutely shredded it looks like i've been trying to ride straight or something um, maybe I should switch that out. It's also a bit disco for me, to be honest. A man of my age with rainbow stuff on his bike. Probably not acceptable, is it? <laughs> anyway, I think I've covered everything just about on this bike. Um, if there's one thing I will say about it, I need to ride it a whole bunch more. Um, I haven't ridden it enough lately um, at all, but that's something I'm looking to put right. So keep an eye out for some actual riding videos coming out from me 
in the near future. And if my cardio, whilst filming this, is anything to go by, it's going to be hilarious for you. But also, let's give you another look. I know I've shown these about already, but these frames are beautiful. Look at them. Get involved. Get yourself a total frame. You won't regret it. You'll be in good company. You know, Alex Colborne, Kyle Baldock, Mark Webb, Anthony Jean Jean from France, man. Like absolute shredders riding our equipment because if you're riding park, these frames are going to do what you need them to do. Okay, the geometry is like on point. Right, let's have a last look in case I've forgotten anything. No, but there you go. Look, I've got a killer B badge on a Kaya frame. <laughs> Only I would do that. But the reason I've done that is because I think those badges are sick. Uh, you can actually buy those badges separate if you want. So if you had, if you have like an older Killer B, like an old K1 or the ones that didn't come with a badge, K2, um, you can just buy yourself a badge and stick it on, like an instant update. There she is, the beast. Christ, hear that hub? I've obviously dried that out. That <laughs> back wheel is savage. So that's a Total BMX Tech Hub. You can hear that's actually quite loud, right? But I imagine I did slightly whip out some of the grease. Not all of it, but I would have uh, cleaned out like the heavy side of the grease and then just left like a thin coating on it just to keep it like lubed, do you know what I mean? Um, I know some people don't recommend it because they'll say it wears the hub out quick. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't recommend it either because I don't want you coming back to me and saying my hub died because I've degreased it because of you. So don't. If you, uh, if you degrease it to make it sound like that, that's on you, all right? Don't come crying to me. Because I, I wouldn't, you know, the only reason I do that is because I own my own bike company and I can just stick a new wheel on whenever I feel like it. Uh, if you're paying for your stuff, then obviously you want to look after it. But if you want to sound cool, who cares, right? <laughs> um, so there she is, the beast. Oh, and don't forget, be a dad, not a fad. Check out that hashtag on, uh, on the socials if you're a father. Um, big shout out to Dave Mirror. That was his big movement, you know, encouraging being a good dad and being a present dad. And I uh, can't recommend that enough, right? Anything else I can say that's ridiculous? Yes. Here's the knot board. Learn your knots. You never know when you're going to need one of these specialist knots. You really don't. So join the scouts. <laughs> you heard it here first. Join the scouts. Be prepared. You never know when you're going to need it. And keep riding BMX. And yes, Total BMX is run by crazy people. But crazy people do crazy things. Crazy things lead to joy. Peace out.